Okay, here I have some tips for recording uh, with basically any uh, Line 6 recording products. Uh, the pod, uh, po any of the pods, uh, pod studio, tone part or guitar part. Uh, these tips are, of course, uh, from my own scarce experience. The first tip I would give is uh, learn to use the EQ. The EQ parameter is uh, probably the most powerful tool you have, and I think every guitarist and recording artist uh, should know how to how to use the EQ. Okay, here I have the EQ of uh, Gearbox. Uh, I guess you guys are either using this or Pod Farm, depending on which gear you have. Uh, when recording guitar, I personally like to bring down the frequencies uh, downward from uh, about 150 or 200 hertz. Uh, this will brighten up the tone and reduce muddiness. I recommend uh, that you really delve into this. <laughs> The second tip is uh, using a proper audio workstation. Uh, the cheapest one, and also a surprisingly powerful one, powerful one uh, is a Reaper, uh, which I personally use. Uh, you can basically use it for free, but the $60 it costs uh, is more than worth it. It's a very powerful program. Some time ago, I was stuck uh, using Audacity. And now using Reaper has uh, opened whole new worlds for me in recording. Uh, the main advantages in using it is uh, proper post-recording EQing uh, and reamping. Uh, thus, you want to program to record your dry signal. Uh, here I have Reaper opened up, and I will show how all this is done. First, you have to download uh, and install both Gearbox and Podfarm. Uh, I guess you have already done that. Uh, this will work as uh, VST plugins in, in Reaper. The reason why you have to install both of these is because uh, one or the other might not, might not work. Uh, go to Preferences and Plugins uh, and VST. Uh, now tell Reaper where you have the Gearbox and uh, Podfarm plugins. Uh, I'm guessing you guys have them somewhere at Program Files slash uh, Line 6. Uh, Reaper a uh, Reaper can s uh, read sub directories, uh, so uh, finding the DLL files uh, shouldn't be a problem. Also, remember to turn on your interface uh, pod or whatever you have uh, when using these plugins. Uh, now you want Reaper to, to record your dry signal through USB. Uh, this might be the tricky part. First, you need to have the ASIO sound driver. Uh, go to Preferences and uh, Audio Device and check uh, check if, if you have it. If you don't, uh, Google ASIO for all and install it. Uh, then remember to select it as your sound driver in this window. Uh, now now from, from these set settings, you have to find uh, your dry signal. Depending on your gear, it might be found in different places. Uh, check ASIO configuration if you can't find it in this window. When you get Reaper to record your dry signal, you're pretty much done. Uh, Reaper doesn't follow the settings you currently have in your pod, uh, but the pod farm or Gearbox plugins uh, can use the presets. You just have to save, save them on your computer uh, and load uh, into these plugins. So, uh, let's record something. Recorded a dry signal as as you can hear, and uh, with this effects button, uh, I can load any presets I have made uh, and use them on the dry signal. <laughs> Yeah, you can start messing with this. <laughs> I recommend recommend that 
uh, you try everything everything out on this great program. It won't hurt. Okay, thanks for joining in and see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>